Editing text notes. We can edit text notes before or after we create them. If it's after, we're going to come here and just pick on the text. And we'll end up with some different areas of how we can control it. First, we can drag the leader elbow. So I can come down here and say, aha, you know, let's let's change the, where that goes. I can also drag the elbow of the leader and alter that. I can also drag the ends of each text so I can move it to the left here and I can also drag the end of this one to make the box longer or I can even drag it and it will automatically uh, wrap the paragraph for me. So I can move those around. I also get the four sided arrow which allows me to move the whole text item around so any four sided arrow is a move arrow and I can also rotate it when I click on the rotate uh, I click on the rotate I can rotate this thing by holding my left mouse button down and I can rotate the text All right. And also, I can click inside of one of the texts, and I can go to highlight the example, and I can come over here and hit make it bold. And so now I have it bolded. I can click on it, and I can highlight one of the texts, and I can change it to italics or underlined if I wish. Uh, also, I can change the alignment if I need to. If I just pick on the leader itself, I come up here and I can add a various leader. Uh, so for example, let's say I come down here and pick on this leader down here that does not have a leader. I can add one in later. So I can add one in over here on the left side and it creates a leader for me. And so then I can come down here and drag drag the leader afterwards. I can also pick on a particular example text here and I can add an additional uh, leader in. My, I go down and so I'm going to add in another leader and notice how now I have two leaders so I can point to two different things. And so I can also pick on this leader text and I come over here and I can remove the last leader. It'll take out the last leader. And of course, if I just want to change the text and pick in here, I can of course just highlight it and type over anything I want here and retype away and click outside of it. And I got, you know, I can edit the actual value of the text. I could also pick on any particular text. I can come over here to my clipboard and say copy. And I can come over here in some other place and I can say paste. And now I got a box there and when I pick I'm actually putting in a copy of what I copied. So this is a good way to copy over all of the things. I can even come over later and edit those things. So I'm going to uh, I can edit the pasted items or I can finish this item. So it's a good way if I have a good example of what I want to go and paste it in, then go in and change the actual wording later. Usually a lot quicker. Also, I can pick on something. I can come over here to my uh, properties. I can go into edit type. In the edit type, I can change any of these values, such as the text size. But remember, if we're going to change anything, duplicate it give it a different name, and then make your modifications.